The summer of 09 was a good one for Keith and Jan Swaggerty. They had the best season for owners in Emerald Downs history. Swag Stables' 27 wins easily broke the previous mark of 23 victories set by Larry and Veraline Hillis. Escorted the rail. Escorted comes right through to win by a length. Swag Stables, who with this 24th ownership victory, have set a single season record of wins for an owner, and that is today with Escorted taking the 24th. Things are very good now for Keith Swaggerty, and he's led a pretty interesting life. If you followed college basketball in the 60s, you knew of Keith Swaggerty. He averaged over 18 rebounds per game in each of his sophomore, junior, and senior seasons at the University of Pacific in California. His high of 39 rebounds in one game hasn't been topped since in Division I. He traveled the world playing ball post-graduation and also had two seasons in the old ABA, the American Basketball Association, with the Houston Mavericks and Kentucky Colonels. Add to that, he's well known in Western Washington as a highly successful head coach of Seattle Pacific for 10 seasons. Swaggerty's horses have been rewarding in many ways, and he's also done well in managing others' investments through Financial Network Investment Corporation as their regional director in Washington. Swaggerty's interest and affection for horses and racing goes way back to his teenage years. Well, I think I've always enjoyed horses. I had one summer of uh, wrangling in Colorado where I was forced to, because everyone else had uh, bronchitis, I was thrown as the head wrangler and led 30 kids on four trips a day out, and that lasted a, a month. And then after that, I never got on a, a horse except to, uh, you know, to go to a pancake breakfast or something. But. Uh, through all my travels, uh, I've seen horse races and loved them in Sydney and Melbourne and uh, all over the United States. I played basketball in Kentucky and so you had uh, the, the excitement uh, of the downs there. Swaggerty knew of trainer Van Belvoir as an outstanding high school wrestler, young jockey at Long Acres and Emerald Downs, and budding trainer. They met officially at an athletic event. I'd known about him, I'd read about him because being a coach and a sports fan, I knew that he was the uh, apprentice of the year and he was wrestling uh, for state high school uh, wrestling championships. So he was a unique individual. Well, he liked mariners and country music and horses and there we go. Van and I eventually uh, had a number of horses uh, that he trained for me and we owned some together. I have a home in um, Phoenix, and at the time he was going back and forth, so it was pretty convenient uh, the opposite seasons. And then he uh, had to go test the waters in um, Kentucky and uh, Texas and Minnesota. Just a couple years ago, Swaggerty purchased a farm in southeast Auburn that's been a thoroughbred training facility for decades. It's now West Coast Training Center, and it's worked out quite nicely. The track is a half a mile track and it's a historic track. It's been here for years and years. People have loved this track. Uh, many people think it's the best place to, to work out uh, anywhere. The rain doesn't stop it at all. I mean, it could pour all at once and they still work out here. Now, today, and I was down to 29 this morning, uh, they won't be able to get on the track and go all the way around until one or so uh, to let it thaw out. So uh, this is obviously a key thing. Uh, we built Van's home over there uh, a couple, three years ago. Uh, one of the first things I did was put a 70 foot round pen in and uh, is, is Van and Trish have been working out there this morning. They still will, I'm sure. But that's where we break the horses. And then beyond that, that was already there before I got here, is a real small covered round pen. That was kind of the first few days uh, to get the horse going. And then that. Then the neighbor over here has a covered arena that we would use uh, if necessary, if it was frozen and just going to stay that way for, for years. Uh, we have two barns, 51 stalls. Uh, the total acreage here is 22 acres. And uh, I guess the second biggest thing I did was uh, buy and put up the Euro sizer. And we're getting a lot of use out of that. And, uh, 
Probably the big thing is to start the season with. The horses get them in shape before they even get to Emerald Downs. Their muscles are uh, taunt. And uh, they say that after five, six weeks on the Euro Sizer, you can go the first day and you know get a three-eighths workout and the horse will be in good shape. Uh, and then it'll have to build up wind after that. But I love the idea of getting those older horses uh, in shape without a rider. Uh, they're going to be working out with gallop people on them the rest of the year, and it's a long, long meet. And so if we can keep weight off them for a while, I think it's to our advantage.